Hello and welcome to another video and this one is going to be slightly different as it's going to be more of a stream of consciousness as I wanted to talk about the unfunning of MechWarrior Online, my thoughts on that, and also what I find fun in MechWarrior Online and how hopefully we can promote that and improve the game along those lines. Now of course this is my opinion uh, the people will have their own opinions, and I think it's an important discussion to have of how people view the game in the sense of how they want to play it. But I recently had a very fun match in Faction Play in my most recent free-to-play episode. I'm going to have some of the footage from that as background to this, just to have some footage up there so you're not staring at a blank screen, but realistically, you're just going to be listening to me for this video. Well, let's go over first some of the issues that I have with MechWarrior Online and its gameplay. Uh, I've been around for ever, like uh, since closed beta, I've been playing the game, so for far too long. <laughs> and I've played thousands and thousands of matches. It's gotten to the point where if I spawn in in a particular game mode on a particular map, I know exactly where the fights are going to be and I can go and run to a location really quickly and aim my cur like aim my crosshairs down a an alleyway and then count out how many seconds it is until an enemy appears and I'm you know right within a few seconds sort of things because I've, I've played these modes so many times it's it's repetitive the enemy will always come around that corner the enemy will be balling up in a great big group because that's how you win the primary th way to win the game modes that we have now is just kill your opponents there's skirmish uh, assault domination these are all just kill your opponents and the assault has oh they back capped us that sucks and then domination is kill them at a circle in the map and then Conquest, when you have single spawns, and I'll get to that later uh, for respawning, but when you have single spawns, it's don't get uncapped, don't get totally capped and try to kill them. You know, take two or three and then kill your opponents and then focus on caps after the majority are dead. You know, Incursion can be just kill your opponents, then tickle the base, or it can just be rush the base mindlessly. You know, there's this is very one dimensional for this gameplay that is in the game currently and I, I've done so many of those matches and while you say when you're first learning and you're first experiencing that that's new and you're finding interesting things to do with it I, personally I've played these thousands of times and I'm starting to get tired of them now of course there is tactical choices that you make in each individual match that makes it somewhat engaging but I'm looking for more of a overarching gameplay reason to try different things and go in different tactical ways like in some maps it's just illogical to push a certain direction the enemy will rotate right you don't push to the left by yourself it's just 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 don't because you're gonna die and that's just what happens but yeah it's just one dimensional everything's about killing your opponents everything's about just being as like ruthless as you can on the battlefield just kill them move on with it and that's fine for a certain type of game but for me that doesn't feel like what MechWarrior Online could be and I think a really good example of what MechWarrior Online could offer and be really interesting is Conquest with Respawns and if you hadn't had the opportunity to get this mode in faction play I, I really wish that everyone could really experience it and see what it's like because it is one of the most dynamic and interesting game modes I think the game has to offer. And we're going to talk about here because with Conquest, one of the primary things about it is that the victory condition, you are more likely to win by capturing points than you are to be going through all of the opponent's respawns. If you have respawns in other modes like assault and such, 
you can just spawn camp the enemies and kill them. And yeah, you're going to get a lot of rewards because you're killing a bunch of opponents. Yay! Not really, because that's boring gameplay, in my opinion. If you win one really good push, you should just cap the base and be done with the match. I actually did that once, where I was playing a faction play map, and we slaughtered the opponents on the first wave. So I capped the base. I had people yelling at me from my own team to stop capping, stop playing the game mode, to farm the opponents as they drop from their dropships. And that's just not fun for me. Where in Conquest, you, you don't win that way. Even if that was occurring, you're most likely going to have the, the backfield with a 5 cap, and it's only going to last like 3 or 4 minutes. You're not going to get through all of the enemy's respawns in that time. The next thing it does is with Conquest, you're, you have to control the entire map. You have to spread out. That's the reason why it's used as the competitive game mode of choice. And the comp guys will say this as well, I'm pretty sure, is that they don't use skirmish, they don't use all these other game modes because Conquest forces you to have map control. And that's really cool and fun and interesting and dynamic for the game. When you, when you have respawns with that, I think it makes it even further. Because I can describe a situation where having this sort of really dynamic gameplay led to cool tactical decisions. There was one time where I was Conquest Respawn on Polar Highlands, so a very large and open map. My team took a bunch of heavies and assaults. We pushed the sort of typical towards Theta push. We slaughtered the opponents, and we captured a few points, and we started to move on. The opponents all dropped into, like, Phoenix Hawks and Cicadas and Commandos and stuff like that. They just went into their fast scouting capping mechs. And we were all stuck in our assaults and heavies. They were running circles around us and capping every base that we had walked away from. We couldn't secure anything and they started to win the, the game because they were focusing on the game mode. I was actually forced to and made the decision that it was tactically correct to take my Marauder 2C, which was still relatively healthy, and eject from it so I could jump in a Shadow Cat and go hunt some of these guys. For me, that's really, really cool. There is that sort of swapping of characters to find counters, like there is in Overwatch, where if a person's playing a very fast character, oh, we're going to want a character that can stun them or slow them or capture them so that we can take care of them. If there's a person, say, like the you know, flying up in the air, we want a person that can shoot that instead of a person who's using a shotgun. You, know, you have these trade-offs between each character, and there's this meta game that's going on within the game of swapping your characters around at the right time in order to properly counter your opponents. Of course, that's something that just can't happen with a single spawn system because you just choose what mech you want and then you go in and then you can't choose it afterwards. So having a respawn, having a drop deck that you can design and think about these situations of what happens when I, oh, I should put in a mech that can do this. You know, you think of, this is my, this is my fast mech for hunting lights. This is my mech for doing sniping. And you can build this drop deck that has all these options. Then you build multiple drop decks that have different sort of map configurations to them. And then when you go into the battle, you're able to see which map and mode. And then you can go, all right, we need to have this. And then you select the right drop ship. And you've prepared and you've done all this really hard work beforehand. And you're rewarded for that with having a drop deck that is suited to your situation that you get yourself into. For me, that is more fun than actually playing the game, is designing and developing these contingencies for all these situations that I could get into and plan out this entire imaginary battle and then make a drop deck that 
perfectly matches it and then just waiting until that situation arises oh my god that, i find that ridiculously fun but that is something that doesn't exist in the typical single spawn one-dimensional gameplay like we have in skirmish because there it's just pick whichever mech can shoot the most bullets the fastest and kill your opponent well, what is that? Oh, we want heavy large lasers and Gauss rifles on all of our Mad Cat 2Cs because, not 2Cs, Mad Cat Mark 2s, because we just need to drop the opponent, and the quicker we drop the opponent, the quicker we get to the next match, come on, let's go, sort of feeling. And I just don't find that fun. Really, I'm going to sum it up here. What I like to see out of gameplay in this game, winning should be primarily done by the objective and it should be done in a time frame that makes it pretty much impossible to kill all of the enemies before you win by objective conquest is a great example for this and incursion is a horrible example for this where conquest you have these points that you can capture back and forth and it's more about controlling the battlefield incursion with respawns you can win by just mindlessly throwing your mechs against the enemy base and just doing as much damage as you can before you die all right everyone let's get in a bunch of lights and jump over the walls and just rip their base open while they run back and try to defend it that's not fun for me if incursion had one base and the other opponents were attacking and one was defending and you had some more durability to the base and you had some strategy there maybe that would work but the way it is now where there's two bases and both teams are drawn towards the center and one can just bypass the fight completely and scoop the objective from behind i find stupid and not fun the next thing is that you're, when you're respawning, you should be able to respawn. I really enjoy that mode. I enjoy that drop deck design, like I said just earlier. But also, it gets you in the game for longer. So for every time you search for a game and you get in there, you are playing nonstop for 15 minutes or 20 minutes, wherever long the game is supposed to last. You're going, ah, oh, damn, we lost that. All right, let's regroup and try again immediately without having to... Um, go back to the the main menu and go again it keeps you in there but it's very important that when you do respawn you're in a safe location this is something that the siege game mode does pretty well because the siege mode spawns that are typically in another location they're typically sort of detached from the objective they're okay some maps are worse than others uh, Boreal Vault is a very bad map in my opinion where the attackers spawn in an open field that has no cover so that if the defenders are being very dominant they can just push out and just farm them as they drop where other maps such as um, Vitric Forge has the defenders and the attackers spawning up in raised totally in cover platforms that they can get their bearings with before they drop down and rejoin the fight. So I think those types of respawns, things like Vitric Forge and such, are great. And we should be adding those into uh, our existing game modes that we have. Conquest should have those spawns se safely sequestered away. So you can drop and get your bearings. And uh, sort of kind of related to all this is i at the current moment thoroughly dislike strikes i just just they, they annoy me i've had several matches recently where i'm just playing normally maybe the enemy has done in total 15 percent of my health 20 percent of my health in actual weapon damage from them but I've gotten three hits on strikes, and now I'm a stick and completely useless. There, the bad situation I can describe for you is one match in the dark using the time of day effects that PGI has added to the game. I was on a hot map, I believe it was Caustic Valley in the dark, and at that time, 
you are going, hey, it's dark, but it's hot. So therefore, night vision, of course. But even something they show you in the damn Academy tutorial is that night vision can see through smoke. And there's all the regular particle effects and smoke coming out from the center of the caldera. So I'm there playing the game normally, and then boom, an airstrike hits me. And I'm like, God damn, I didn't even see the the red plume. It must have been right in front of me, but because I'm using night vision, I don't see it. Boom, it hits me again over the top of the ridge line because strikes have been improved and they can reach half a map away. And then one more hit and I'm dead because they took out my other side torso and my light engine exploded. Another great thing about maps like Conquest with Respawns, there is no death balling. You don't need strikes. The entire reason why they argue that strikes are a thing that should be in the game is that they're area denial. It's to stop death balling. You don't need the strikes in the game. If you have a game mode that promotes you to spread across the map and have small skirmishes instead of one great big death ball battle. I just feel like there's ways that we can have the game mode structure and how we play the game be improved compared to improving the weapons and such, which was the sort of main focus, well, the first focus for the community balance pass. I totally understand what they're doing there, and I agree with the vast majority of what they were trying to do with that community balance pass. But honestly, if that balance pass never went through, but PGI gave me a button in the game that said, if you press this, no matter what, it may take like half an hour to get a match, but no matter what, if you press this, you will be on Conquest Respawns, I would use it. It is personally that big of an improvement to the fun that I have playing the game than anything else in the game. But yeah, that's going to be it right now. Uh, this is fairly ranty. Uh, thanks for listening to this. Of course, this is just my opinion. If you have your own, I want to hear it in the comments below. And yeah, thanks for watching and good hunting.